The thermal efficiency of an engine. What is the thermal efficiency of an engine that takes n moles of diatomic ideal gas through the cycle 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 shown in the figure? So to start solving this problem, I want to concentrate on the figure. I see isobaric and isovolumetric processes, and I want to determine where is the lowest temperature and where is the highest temperature. So if I start drawing isotherms here, I would see that the lowest isotherm would go through uh, point 0.1. So uh, a higher isotherm would go through point 0.4. A higher isotherm would go through point 0.2 and an even higher isotherm would go through 0.3. So this tells me that temperature at 0.1, T1, is the lowest, uh, then T4 is greater, then I have T2 greater, and the highest temperature is achieved at T3. Okay, so let's start with this observation, T1, is less than T4, is less than T2, is less than T3. Now, efficiency of a heat engine, thermal efficiency, is the work done by the engine, W engine, divided by the heat uh, provided to the gas. So, because the internal energy change for a cyclic process is zero, the amount of heat added to the heat engine would be a QH minus the heat extracted QC and the work done by the engine minus W engine, this would be equal to zero. Minus W engine is work done on the engine. So work done by the engine is the difference QH minus QC. So we can see that the efficiency of thermal efficiency of this engine would be QH minus QC divided by QH, uh, which would be equal to 1 minus QC over QH. Now this is a diatomic gas and moles of a diatomic gas so we're going to take molar specific heat at constant volume to be 5 over 2r considering uh, rotations and translations of the center of mass 7 over 2r would be cv cp because it's cp minus cv is always equal to r and it's a diatomic gas okay so uh, where is the heat being absorbed? So looking at different segments of this cycle, I can see that going from a 1 to 2, temperature is increasing. That means heat is being absorbed. Going from 2 to 3, temperature is increasing. That means heat is being absorbed. Uh, so for this segment of the uh, cycle. Uh, and... I can see going from 3 to 4, uh, the temperature is decreasing, so heat is being released. And going from 4 to 1, also temperature is being, uh, temperature is decreasing, therefore uh, heat is getting released. So having recognized these portions, I can write the net amount of heat absorbed which is 1, 2, and 2, 3 segments, will be, uh, for 1, 3 segment, I have a constant volume process, and CV T2 minus T1, and for 2 to 3, I have constant pressure process, and CP T3 minus T2. So CV is 5 over 2 R, so 5 over 2 N R, uh, what is temperature T2? It is 2P0V0 
divided by n r because PV equals MRT minus what is the temperature T1? It is P0 V0 divided by n r. And then for the uh, constant pressure process, 7 over 2 r. So 7 over 2 n r is Cp. Then I have the temperature 3 that is 2 P0 2 P0 4 P0 V0 divided by n r and temperature T2 2 P0 V0 divided by n r and these n r's will uh, cancel obviously And for uh, QC, so uh, if I complete this calculation here, this will be 5 over 2 P0 V0 plus 7 uh, P0 V0, which is 19 over 2 P0 V0 for QH. And for QC, the amount of heat being released, I have uh, between 3 and 4 a constant volume process and CV, uh, it would be T4 minus T3, but it, I have an uh, absolute value, so it will be T3 minus T4. And then I have a constant pressure process and CP T4 minus T1. So I write the higher temperature first to get the absolute value. It's normally T1 minus T4, which will give me negative heat added. So this is 5 over 2 NR, a temperature at point 3, 2 P0, 2 V0 divided by NR, 4 P0, V0 divided by NR, minus temperature at 4, which is P0, 2V0 divided by NR, minus 2P0, V0 divided by NR. Then the constant pressure part, 7 over 2 NR, temperature at 4, that's P0, 2V0 divided by NR. So it's 2P0, V0 divided by NR. And then here I had P0, V0 divided by NR at the beginning. And once again, NRs will cancel. And I will be left with um, 5 P0, V0 plus 7 over 2 P0, V0, which will be uh, 17 over 2 P0, V0. So efficiency is 1 minus uh, QC over QH. So efficiency will be equal to 1 minus 17 divided by 19. Uh, efficiency is 2 over 19. That will be the final answer. Okay, so we're trying to calculate the thermal efficiency of a heat engine which consists of a cyclic process with two isovolumetric and two isobaric steps. First, we determine, we, when we plot the isotherms, we see highest temperature at point 3, lowest temperature at 1. Between 1 and 2, temperature is increasing. Between 2 and 3, temperature is increasing. So these two are where the the heat is being added to the gas and between 3, 4 and 4, 1, temperature is decreasing, heat is extracted. It's a diatomic gas, Cv is 5 over 2R, Cp is 7 over 2R and for the heat added we have NCV delta T plus NCP delta T. Heat extracted we have NCV delta T between these two and NCP delta T between these two. 
However, because it's absolute value of heat extracted, we change the signs of the temperatures here uh, to make it absolute value. So this gives us 19 over 2 P0 V0 if we apply the ideal gas law at each point to determine the temperatures and 17 over 2 P0 over V0 for QC. So 1 minus 19 over 2 uh, 17 over 2 divided by 19 over 2 gives us 1 minus 17 over 19 which is 2 over 19 as the efficiency of this 